guys, it is Friday, September 6th. It is not quite morning anymore. It's actually at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We actually woke up a little bit earlier today because we slept in past our alarm clocks. And then we hung out with Camilla at home because she took the day off sick. So, you know, we wanted to chill with her host a little bit. And obviously, we haven't been able to see her quite a bit all week because she's been busy working. But we're actually out and about now. We meet up to Nodding Hill area. We're at a space called Egg Break for breakfast because we're both super starving and we need to get food inside of us. It's kind of a gloomy day as well because it started raining as we were heading out. So we figured, why not just get lunch? Wait till the rain is over and then head back up to shoot. There's no point in shooting when it's raining because A, it's just gonna be wet and like just comb my hair. It's already coming up due to the humidity. Don't need to go straight anyways, but also be like definitely not gonna be nice. So we're gonna hang in, get a little bit of lunch, and then I'm back up to shoot for the rest of the day. I found this egg break place online because we originally wanted to go to Farm Girl, but the lineup was too long. I was hoping to take Mel there for her first time. Oh well. This place looks good though. The menu has like all eggs. I love me some poached eggs for breakfast. Thinking of getting the Turkish eggs for breakfast, I saw these two of the girls who walked in. They had it and it looked absolutely delicious. But they also had halloumi, so I don't know if I want to add a slice of halloumi to it. We'll see, but thinking this one for now. We have Canton tea. Also want to point out that the water here comes with slices of grapefruit and lemon, and not just lemon. So you know you're getting high quality distilled water here. Our food has arrived! So this is what the Turkish eggs looks like. It's actually very aesthetic. I don't think I could ever plate anything this beautiful. Mel got the lamb hash. Mm. I wish I liked lamb. I feel like I'd enjoy this. So llama. Llama. Llama and ding dong. What? You're eating your own kind. It's lamb, not llama. Does it taste like llama or taste like lamb? It's a lamb and yogurt. Mm -hmm. Interesting, I've never had lamb and yogurt. Gonna dig in and enjoy this before we destroy it. This is the last time you'll see it looking this aesthetic. First impression. It's like, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a yogurt. And it tastes very, very refreshing. There's also peas in here and beans and radishes, so kind of feel healthy because we have not been eating the best over the past four days, so this might have to help. So it's been a few hours since we spoke to you guys and all honestly after we ate the food we kind of just like roamed around and shot in front of this place called Churchill Arms. It was really really hard to shoot in front of it because the building was like angled weirdly and we'd had to shoot in front of like standing in the street. It's been a difficult so I was like I'm not gonna vlog this portion. I actually also want to take a break from vlogging because vlogging for like eight days straight is extremely exhausting. Kudos to you guys that vlog every single day and upload onto YouTube. I don't think I could do that. It's just it's way too much for me. So this is why I do travel vlogging because then I can make a fun and interesting content and vlog every single day but then take a break while I'm not vlogging so we're now here at a place called Biscuiteers it's very cute it's a little storefront that does cookies biscuits as you can tell because it's called Biscuiteers and they also have coffee and tea as well I came here last time when I was in London two years ago and it has not changed one bit it's still just as adorable and cute and I have to show you their tea sets they're so adorable these are the little tea sets and the coffee cups they give you when you order coffee let me see if I can get this in focus how adorable is it it's literally like the facade at the front of the shop on a cup and then if you order coffee they also give you like a little biscuit to go with it so that's a nice little bonus touch Mel got some tea because she's still feeling a little under the weather but seems like she's perking up now because the sun's out I'm always perky. So I believe the plan now is to chill here for a little bit, grab some shots, and then head over to Notting Hill and and check out the pastel homes because did you come to London if you didn't get a photo of pastel homes? I don't think you did. And then we're gonna end the night off with like a little stroll through Portobello Market to see if there's anything cute and adorable that we can find there that maybe we can bring home. Hopefully, I don't know. Sometimes I want to bring stuff home because it's a nice souvenir, but then I also don't because it just legit won't fit into my bag. I literally have no space left in my luggage to put more things in it and I'm already on the cusp of being overweight, so I'm not trying to get dinged for that. Consumed our coffee and now we're wandering around a little bit in Portobello Road. It's this like really cute spot actually right next to Biscuiteers on Portobello Road where they have a market that's daily from like I think nine to seven. They have like vintage shops, bookstores, little plant shops along the road as well and it's so sweet and quaint. Definitely a great place to go like on our first date or just like a stroll. It's so adorable. <laughs> Hello. Banksy, this way. We were totally just like stepping on a cupcake. This would be cute to like frame. Saturday is September 7th. It is 7 a.m. right now. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's 
so bright. Probably the earliest. Oh, it shut off me because it didn't want to cooperate. This is the earliest we've woken up the entire week so far, I think, to try to make it out to shoot. Our goal is to leave the house and be somewhere for 7 a.m. this morning. We were supposed to leave at 6.30, but we slept in a little bit, and we're going to make it to our first destination for 7.30. We're going to go to Parliament Square. It's this, like, really cool touristy spot that has, like, a ton of phone booths lined up. Pretty quintessential London, if I may say so myself. If you guys ever come, definitely make a point of coming here just to check it out so you can see if you've seen the phone booths. But we were hoping to shoot here nice and early before tourists or commuters come in, and it gets super busy, so that's our goal right now. And then after this, we're going to go over and shoot at another place. Oh, yeah, Big Ben's also next to Parliament Square, so it's kind of cool. You'll see both. Time. Then after this, we're gonna go to Regent Street, which is like a really, really pretty street with like, I don't know, shops on either side going down. You, you definitely have seen it if you've seen these like Christmas Eve photo in London. And the last stop before we go back home is this little cafe called St. Ames, but unfortunately they don't open till 12, so that's okay because we're just gonna sit outside and take photos up there instead of ordering food, which I feel like kind of saves us money, so. But we're just on a bus right now. It's really funny because we ran to catch this bus. Then as soon as we got here, because it was parked here for about like five minutes, my sure he comes out and he's like, I need to go to this. So we went inside to work. Oh, we just like climbed upstairs. I'm gonna talk double take us right now. So like, How do you feel about this early morning commute, Mel? Tired. Tired. But we can make it. This is our view. Just chilling up here. Me and my tripod. And the early London sun. There's no really sun outside though. Overcast clouds. We were hoping to potentially maybe get a sunrise of some sort, but it doesn't seem like we will look out at all this week. Found the phone booths. Going to get a shot and then heading off for more photos for the rest of the day. These ones are at Parliament Square. We didn't find the ones that have like a full line of them, so we're gonna go there later today in Comic Garden. I'll show you guys where that one is. But we found them! Morning, guys. It is Sunday, September 8th, and we're on our second last day here in London. We're just currently waiting for our Uber. I'm here with Cami. Mel's outside chilling. We're heading off to Dalloway Terrace. We're gonna meet up with Ashley. If you guys don't know her, her IG handle is Miss Gunner. She'll also appear in the vlog, so don't worry, you'll get to meet her there. But we're actually running so late this morning. We were supposed to wake up at like seven o'clock to do some campaign shots, and then we completely slept through our alarms at like 9.30. Thankfully, Cami here woke us up. She's like, we have to leave in 30 minutes. We still missed the shuttle though. <laughs> I couldn't get them on track. This close, we're this close. We're like one or two minutes away, we would've made it. Living with girls is a nightmare. A nightmare. So we're now waiting for an Uber to head into the city, but hopefully we make it there on time and we still get our reso because our resos were for 10 30. So fingers crossed they keep them for us. So we want to eat there. It looks so pretty. We finally arrived at Dalloway Terrace and it is the most beautiful terrace patio space I've ever seen. There's so many beautiful floors behind us. Look. There's Mel. It's pretty on that side. I'll show you guys the rest of the space. It's so pretty. It goes all the way around. And we're here with Camilla and Ash, who I haven't seen in like two years. I can't believe it's been so long. <laughs> Coffee first as always guys. Our food has arrived guys. I got pancakes because I wanted to them a little bit sweeter this morning. Camilla got a Benny. And then Ash, what did you get? Omelette? <laughs> That's okay. Omelette. And then Mel got eggs Benny as well. <laughs> that facial expression. She's dreaming of omelette. Super ready to dig into this. Oh. So it's been quite a few hours now, but I'll catch you guys up to speed with what we've been up to. After brunch, we kind of walked over to Common Garden with Ash and Camilla grabbed some pics and then we just kind of like chilled around a little bit and went back home to rest for a little. We've now actually taken the train all the way out to a different area of the city called Fulham. So we're here at a bookshop called Hurlingham Books. Isn't it adorable? Look at this window display. So beautiful. So they have a ton of books on the outside that are actually a pound each only. So if they have cash, let me get one. But if not, we'll see. I don't have a lot of space in my luggage left to bring the rest of this back home. We're gonna grab a couple photos here before we head back to Sloan to get dinner with Camilla and Mitch and their friends. It is a Monday, September 
8th, 9th, 10th, I don't even know which day it is, whatever day is after the one from yesterday. It is our very last day in London World, our very last full day in London because we still have tomorrow before we fly out at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Today we're saving one of the best sightseeing spots for last and that's going to be Tower Bridge and Tower Bridge is the one that has like the really pretty blue suspension um, cables on it. It's oftentimes like really confused with London Bridge so if you're coming here make sure you don't go to London Bridge, go to Tower Bridge because that's the prettier one although you can go to London Bridge for the purpose of seeing it as well. So we're going to do that and then come home. I have a couple of things I need to shoot still for work before we hang out for the rest of the day and just explore the rest of London for the last full day. Wearing like full on dark gear today because it's supposed to be kind of rainy. I looked at the weather, I don't think it's going to rain until afternoon, so we're hoping that we can catch all of our photos before the rain comes down on us. But the reason I'm whispering is because Camilla and Metro are still getting away from work and I don't know if they're fully awake yet. So, yeah, we're in the living room, about to head out right now. See you guys at London Bridge. Bye, cutie. Sorry I can't take you with me, Lupo. I'll see you later, okay? Bye bye. We have made it to Tower Bridge! So this is the one with the blue stuff on it. Not to be confused with London Bridge, which I think it's like all the way over there somewhere. This is the pretty one! Yay! So as you can probably see, we have made it to the Tower Bridge. It rained on us a little bit. And my hair is essentially fully down now. It was really curly when I first got here and I spent like a solid 15 minutes curling this morning. So I'm kind of sad that it's all straight, but that's okay. It'll get fixed when we go back home later. Wow, it is super bright right now. Let me adjust this. Hopefully this is better now that you guys can hear me too because there's a lot of traffic going on around us everywhere. We're just like walking into these tower bridge right now. This is such a cool experience. And apparently if you pay like I don't actually know how much you have to pay. There's an entrance fee for you to go upstairs and there's like a glass walkway that you can walk down so you're overlooking the tower bridge and it's actually pretty cool. Mel and I are a little bit chicken so we didn't want to pay for that but we were just happy to walk across the tower bridge on our own because it's so iconic to London and we're just taking in and soaking up all the sights on our very last day here in London. One thing I do want to mention is that if you guys are walking across here, it definitely is like a pedestrian bridge as well. If you want to take photos, it's not as busy as the one in New York so you can honestly come at any time of the day it's not that bad I would come like even late in the morning when you can get some rest if you could so that way you don't feel too exhausted because there's a lot of other destination points that definitely take way more effort to get to so that you can get a nice empty shot but this one's like it's pretty good there weren't too many tours here actually actually I don't think there was more than like those two girls that we saw so yeah this led us to a cool view of an elevator in this side of the bridge kind of scary because you can see the water straight from out here Going down. Ta da! And then, if you come to the river on the other side, you get this view. And I see a lot of people sitting on this ledge here for photos. In a few hours, we went back home, took off all of our makeup. As you can see, I'm breaking out real bad right now, guys. It's not cute. I don't know what's wrong with my face. We shot some stuff for work, and then now we're back out in the city running some errands and grabbing our very last lunch for a final day here in London. So sad. Are you sad? So sad. You look very warm though. I do. This coupled with heaters. Yeah. We are in full on sweater weather and I'm not a fan. I'm definitely like a summer baby. So knowing that fall is here seriously just indicates to me that winter is coming soon and not a fan. This is my piece. This is my winter face. Hanaloni just arrived, so we're now ready to dig in. Finished lunch, and we're back at none other than Primark. Already trapped and purchasing things. Trap! It's a trap. I'm actually wearing that turtleneck right now. It match. Hashtag influenced. Hashtag forever twins. We've made it to the danger zone. Picked up this. You guys already saw this feather dish and a pillow. I don't know how you're gonna fit this in your luggage. Make it work. So I've been trapped and can never have not have socks. So I really like this because it's actually a decent price. $2.50 for seven pairs of socks. I think this comes out to like five bucks or seven pairs, which is less than a dollar each, which is legit cheaper than what I can buy in Canada. But the problem is, although I love these colors, they're not practical because I always wear these with sneakers and they're just gonna show. So I found this pair, which is more neutral, and it's cute because there's like little speckles on it. 
so I think this is gonna go better with my everyday shoe wear. So how are we gonna get this one? After a couple hours later, we've napped and we're back at Wait Rose to get snacks for tomorrow while we wait for Camilla and Mitch to bring home some burgers for dinner tonight. It is our final night, it's gonna be very sad. This is our final time coming to Wait Rose. What is our sandwich on the like out? Which is the one that we like? bacon the brie and bacon yeah so we always get these sandwiches here as like early morning snacks because they're super filling and the one that we like is out so i don't know what i'm gonna get hmm. getting these ones because our favorite brie and bacon one is gone i don't like bacon but i liked it this one has looks like a shrimp cucumber and lobster or sorry fake crab meat so decent also picked up one of these strings got the mango one to go with the sandwich they're only like two pounds so super portable so i've decided to do um a british candy snack haul so i'm actually in the candy aisle right now at weight rose trying to find some things that i want to bring back home this will be a separate video you guys will see that another time but i've heard these things about these cadbury dairy milk buttons so sneak peek of something to come soon this is my current haul stitch. We head now. We are back home now. Lighting is not the best. I apologize. There's a lot of overhead pot lighting um, involved in this situation right now, which is why it looks super shadowy. But I wanted to touch base with you guys to show you kind of like how I pack very, very quickly. And I want you guys to let me know if you want me to go through a how I pack video to showcase what I do to organize all my stuff whenever I'm traveling to make sure I have everything. Hi, ah, Panda! Hi, honey! You can join us for the video for a little bit. Oh, I miss Kobe. But yes. I'm gonna run through my check-in luggage and really quickly my carry-on which is like nothing super special and give you guys some of my quick tips and tricks as to how to pack to make sure uh, you're packing efficiently whenever you're traveling so let's go pack together with me to go back home to Toronto I know that's not sexy but yeah that's what we're doing right now really quickly I'm gonna show you guys how I organize everything this is not like a really in-depth how I pack just a quick teaser so you guys can let me know if you want a taste of more tips and tricks on how to pack but essentially this is usually what my luggage looks like you guys know when you have like the pull-up of the trolley on the back of the handle on the back of the luggage it's usually on the right side so I pack all of my clothes into there because I don't like those bars that come in underneath where like the the handles are and I fill in all the crevices with my clothes as you can see I like to roll all my clothes so that I can save space typically I put all of the heavier pieces towards the bottom I actually like to put all my blazers in the um, the big wedge compartments the handles go like down one comes down here and then another one comes down there so you end up getting these three like wells in between in the luggage and I put like one two and three into it and then in between there's always a little bit of space so I always like to travel with extra smaller pieces of clothes packed wedged in between there to fill up that space every single nook and cranny in my luggage is always completely 100% utilized then at the very end I like to usually get like a big sweater or a pair of pants to kind of like lay flat down over this before I buckle it up to secure it all in just because there's always one side that doesn't have these like compression or like zip compartments and I don't understand why like I really wish they had it on both sides I know Ramoa luggages have them on both sides and I loved it when I was um, working with Ramoa and using theirs but this one does not so I had to put something down over top to clip it in place to keep it compressed this side is finished um, I will move over to this side this side is usually where I put a lot of my shoes and boots and harder pieces that are not necessarily foldable just because this side is completely flat here so it gives me a lot of space to play with I usually put my tripod on this side underwear or like small pieces of clothing i stack in between shoes to fill the crevices that way you up each and every single space and that's essentially it this side unfortunately has the zipper so closed down but it doesn't really need it because everything just like stays in place easily i wish this was on this side but what can you do and then in my backpack over here i usually put my laptop here and then i put all of my electronics in here i never ever ever pack any of my electronics in my check-in because i'm so afraid that it's going to get lost by airlines because i've heard of horror stories from my friends so this is where all of my electronics go oh i also forgot toiletries go into the check as well just because honestly like as much as i need my toiletries if they get lost like whatever i can just use bar soap to kind of maintain my skincare for a few days but yeah it goes into there also just because my toiletries include way too many liquids that i would not be able to fit this in my check-in and get through security safely like this is not clear for security and this is my toner so this has to unfortunately go into my check-in I do not swap over to travel size products when I travel necessarily unless it comes in a smaller bottle already like a lot of my skin suitable stuffs are pretty small to begin with but things like my toner I don't like squishing onto a brand new bottle because once I finish using it I always try new ones so if I put it into a new small bottle I'll constantly have to like recycle through clean it out put the new one in so I just pack all my full-size products in here and then moving over to my carry-on there's nothing too too crazy about my carry 
on. It's pretty much in a similar manner that I pack my um, check-in. Or is this side that has a handle? I put in all of my clothes and then this side's all the hard stuff like shoes and Camilla's foot. <laughs> Are you coming back with me to Toronto? I'm sad. I don't want you to leave. No, we'll see you soon though. But I can't leave London because but I don't really have a reason. But I have a um, job. You're coming so. to my wedding. That's a reason. Next year. Next I'll be year. there. I'm her guest of honor. Oh, and then I'm back at yours. And then it's my wedding. Woo! <laughs> and then when's Mel's? Mel. Wow. So oh, much. wait. Pull. 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 Please. Select the poll option on the button below. That doesn't work. I don't, know, I don't have a YouTube. I don't get it. But anyway, who is the biggest potential bridezilla? Oh. Vicky, me, or Mel? Oh. Tune into next week's episode to find out. Are you going to be my next, week ep next week's episode then? I mean, I guess I've said it now. Can't okay. disappoint the fans. Okay, you're going to have to send me a video from London. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have now make weekly appearances on Vicky's vlog. <laughs> Press the button below. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, back to regularly scheduling programming. So this size where I put all my clothes. Oh my god, I cannot take this seriously right now. Um, okay, so. Okay, so everything clothing wise is packed into here. I put all my makeup because I don't have a lot of liquids for my makeup besides my foundation, so it doesn't hit my limit. Um, I honestly just like shove things inside of each other. Like I put purses inside of purses. My bra is used as like stuffing to put other things underneath. There's nothing too crazy from this side. And then, like I said, yeah, this side is mostly some shoes and I just like chuck in all of my hair ribbons. This is my use like underwear and socks. It just legit whatever I can wedge into here. I wedge into here. I also have this little prop here to bring back. <laughs> it's so cute. So whenever I pack, one more tip I want to recommend to you guys when I'm packing my clothes is to take pictures of all the stuff that you wear before you go so that you don't have to think about what outfits you want to put together. You already have them ready to go and it's easy for you every morning when you're leaving. A lot of stuff that I picked up this time was from H&M because they had so many amazing pieces in store like matching suit sets that were like pristine and legit exactly what I wear all the time. I actually purchased all those with the help of Rakuten because, you know, this girl spends a little bit too much on shopping sometimes so I need some cash back to help, you know kind of equate that line out. I'm also including my referral link to Rakuten down below if you guys want to sign up and get some cash back on your own. I believe they have like over 750 different retailers on their site and it's so easy. You just shop as if you normally shop. You just make sure you have an account and you follow the instructions to get cash back on your purchases because like why not? Why wouldn't you want to get paid to go shopping? But yeah, this is essentially my mini mini pack with me video let me know if you guys want to see more because i am more than happy to do that so that's essentially a quick very very small snippet of how to pack with me when i travel so please let me know down below along with your choice in camilla's poll as to whether or not i should do a pack with me video walking through all of my complete tips and tricks and how i essentially pack whenever i travel there's a lot more complexities that go into this from what i've shown so there's a lot of info to be shared i just don't know if it's something you guys would like to see we're gonna now go eat our last dinner together and then get Get some rest before we head back to Toronto tomorrow morning. Oh Bye. My God. Hot messes because we literally just ran through, ran, ran from that to customs to security and onto the plane. But we're here and you can see we're sweating. Feeling glowy though. Yeah, nature's highlight. Switching to my phone because I literally forgot my battery in my check luggage. So, peace out, London. Thank you, Transit, for flying us all the way here with Option Plus. Thank you very much. It was Bonds, muy bonds, and I'll see you guys on my next trip. Bye!